Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Eli at Kingsbridge Performance and 4x4 here in North Yorkshire. We have a brand new 2022 72 plate Land Rover Defender 110 with a full urban wide track conversion from brand new. It's only done 600 miles this car, delivery miles. It is the D250, so it's a 250 horsepower, straight six, three litre engine. If that's not enough power, by all means, you can remap them to 350 horsepower if you feel so inclined. But it's got plenty of torque, plenty of pulling power. It's the excess edition model. So it's, a, it's one of the highest spec cars Land Rover do in terms of trim levels. They do S, SE, HSE, X Dynamic S, X Dynamic SE, HSE. Then they do XS edition and then they do X. It's quite complicated, I don't know. I don't know why they made it so, so many different trim levels, but there you go. So this particular example, like I say, brand new. Now do not, convert, do not confuse this with the standard urban conversion and most certainly do not confuse it with a non-urban car. Okay, they're all different. This is the biggest, the baddest, the widest, the best. Okay, so the wide track kit is much more substantial than the standard one. I'm gonna talk you through it in a second, but it also just makes the car look the way it does. And it looks absolutely phenomenal. It's a hell of a machine, this thing. So, first of all, let's start with the wheels. You get the 22 inch satin black, split five spokes with the urban center caps. They've even taken care of all the details, such as um, wheel nut covers in satin black to match. Not to take care of the tires would be silly. You want a tire that's correct raising. A lot of people um, put tires on these that are not suitably speed rated. They put big off-road tires, but they're not rated more than 99 miles an hour. They're actually dangerous to put on. Um, these are the correct Yokohama Geolander all-terrain tires. They've got that lovely rugged grip, but they're not a mud tire, so you can use them on the road perfectly safely all season, the snow and ice. And in addition to that, they're rated up to 130 miles an hour which is more than the top speed of this car. So you are perfectly safe using these. Don't buy one that's got a substandard incorrect speed rating on the tire. Um, again, same on the rear. So you've got the 22 inch wheels in satin black with the urban center cap and the wheel nut covers. Looks fantastic. Then you've got these shadow black side steps. So the whole side steps covered in, it is finished in black, satin black. Now the wide track kit gets these much wider arches as opposed to the standard ones which are a lot narrower. You've also got a wider, by default, mud guard, which help give it that rugged appearance. The ones on the rear are branded urban, so standard mud guards do not look like this. And these ones go all the way around to here to line up with these extra wide arches. You also get the urban branded spare wheel cover. All the plastics, which are black textures, are now finished in gloss black, as well as all the inserts, the top of the bumper. Everything's finished in gloss black now, which is quite a big job to do. I know because we do them. You've got the urban badge there on the rear tailgate. You've got the urban branded rear spoiler as well. Urban branding on the rear panel and that is colour coded in gloss black as opposed to silver. You've got the front windows that are tinted as well to match the rears, it's a full privacy glass all the way across. You've got the urban branded for LED light bar as well that's fitted. I'm going to turn that off now. You get a proper switch here rather than a remote turn off the engine as well you also get as you can see there these fog lights upgraded led square fog lamps which look really cool um, but not standard you don't get on the standard car you get this whole new different rear bumper front bumper sorry including this more protruding more aggressive style here 
with these fog lamps in them. And then all this is finished in gloss black as well as the front toe eye cover. And then that's finished in satin black. You get these uh, sort of winglets, if you like, or split diffusers to the front. This has got a full LED matrix, LED headlights, urban branded front bumper, urban branding on the bonnet. Another thing you get with the full wide track kit is these bonnet vents, which are standard on a standard car. I'll just show you. You get this black checker plate and you get these vents here. Okay, that's a standard. This, you get the urban branding. I think they call it the wide track vent kit or side vent kit. And the same on the bonnet as well. And again, it's branded. Again, all finished in gloss black, even this, which is normally finished in plastic. So great detail has been taken care of to make sure this car is completely blacked out. Now, I know that doesn't come cheap, but just look at it. What a machine. Really stands out from any other Defender on the market. All those little details that other people just don't do. That's what makes it stand out. You've got these fantastic all red lights and even the, those ones there are outlined in red with clear centers. So you've got this lovely gastro on the boot door to make it nice and soft and easy to close. Obviously with the car being brand new, it's not being used, parcel shelves in place. This lovely plastic textured plate locking wheel and everything's there as it should be. This is on the back of the seats as material as well. So really easy to use uh, as a loading wagon if you so wish. Just drop the rear seats. Traditional Defender skylights there, panoramic opening roof, loads of storage hooks and holders make it really practical. You can raise and lower the air suspension here. If you want to load, the cars just drop down. Storage pockets there as well, which make it really handy. This one's got the full air suspension. You've got keyless entry, exit and start folding mirrors. You can just pull them. Got the keys in my pocket, yes. Is it? There we go. Got indicators in the wing mirror as well. This one's also got the blind spot assist that will slash up orange here for cars in your blind spot. It's part of the excess edition. You've got the coloured ambient lighting as well, which again is a nice option to have. Optional on all the other ones in the excess, it's standard. This lovely grey textured finish to the metal, which you get in the front. Uh, it's powder coated actually, I mean, this, you can see that it says Defender on it. Um, the white powder coating is an option on the other ones because it comes a standard in grey. Um, and you've got the ambient lighting, it looks absolutely fantastic. You've also got the full leather seats, I say that because a lot of them are fabric in the centre, leather on the out bit. Um, this is full leather all the way across. Now underneath, don't forget, it is a Defender at the end of the day, so it's made for rugged utility. Underneath these carpet mats, nice, easy to wash, easy to clean plastic, you can literally just hose it out. It's designed to do that. Massive door bins here, loads of storage space. Very, very practical. Look how much leg room there is here. It's massive, so much space. Really is a practical everyday car. You've got a cup holders there in the center armrest. Courtesy lights and grab handles. They've just thought of everything to make it an everyday go-to vehicle that you can use for all the family or for commercial needs or for utility needs. It's just ticks all the boxes. So full electric memory seats. You've got power folding wing mirrors as I've shown. You can also adjust those. They're auto dimming as well and heated. Uh, so you can child lock the rear windows. You've got the Meridian sound system, the tweeters in the doors. You've got your parking brake there as well as the button for the overhead light. Bonnet release there. Loads of storage even here underneath. You've got two levels of storage and you've got more storage here in the cup holders. <clears throat> you can switch this one to here if you want. Use that tray there. 
You've got wireless charging for your phone. You've got the fridge here, two settings, cold and extra cold. To keep your drinks cool. Like I said, the opening sliding pan roof, and that's adjusted or opened with these buttons here. You've got the clear sight rear view mirror, so that's the camera. If you don't want the camera and you just want standard, you can do that. And you can adjust the picture with these buttons here. <coughs> Excuse me. Your backlit, both sides. You've got the full digital dash here. I remember on a lot of the defenders, because of the microprocessor shortage, they went back to analog dials. This one's got the full digital. You have got heated steering wheel. You've also got the lane assist. You've got a speed limiter, so you can set that as well if you don't want to go over a certain speed. And then this button controls things, for example, like that. I've just changed the radio station. You can also adjust See if I simply, now it's controlling. Sorry, let's just do that again, look. Press that. Now you're controlling this display here. The navigation. Display layouts, you can adjust this here how you want it. Vehicle settings, etc. So, very clever stuff. And then obviously you can control that screen there. Um, here you've got your wipers. Here you've got your lights, they're automatic of course. Then you can adjust with this button on the end what's shown in this bottom menu. Um, you've got further USB and USB-C ports and 12 volt sockets here. And you've also got more sockets dotted around the car in various places. Air suspension here, you've got the dual zone climate control, heated front screen that's actually got a heating element. You can't see it in the video, it's actually got a heating element in the front, it'll clear it on a snowy icy day very quickly. Um, You've also got things like your different driving programs, so grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, rock crawl. This is the ultimate, ultimate defender, ultimate off-road vehicle, should I say. Yeah, how good is that? So that's literally, just press that. That's a shortcut if you like. And then if you press that, it'll set it back to the climate control so you can adjust the climate um, with these two dials here. There is other ways you can do it as well, which I'll show you in a sec. Low range gearbox, traction control off, hill descent control. Your climate. So you sync them so they're in sync. Um, but anyway, let's go through some of the menu options here. Okay, I'll just show you as well, this steering wheel is electronically adjustable with this little knob on the side that I'm holding at the moment. Now let's go to the main menu. So obviously you've got your main three things there, navigation, phone, media. Then you've got slope assist, compass. Gosh, I mean, literally wheel info. I mean, I suppose if you're driving off road, you'd want all that weight sensing. If you're driving through water, saying, I mean, there's literally everything's covered on this thing. And you can adjust what's displayed on here as well. You've got the 360 cameras, which are here. And again, you can adjust these as to how you want them displayed. You can see the main main image there. If you're going off-road, then you put the off-road camera button so you can see where each wheel is placed and it shows you how the wheels are moving. Going back to the main menu, so if we press that twice, so seats, first of all, you can control that. So you've got heated, Oh gosh, one sec, let's just get back to that. Just came off it by mistake. So you can adjust those as well. They're cooled as well. So they're heated and cool, which goes through that perforated part of the leather. Um, I'll just switch those off. Let's go back. Got the climate control there, which I already touched on, that you can adjust if you so wish. Accounts, navigation, cameras, I've shown you that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Eco Data, Load Traction. I've, so, I've shown you some of that in the sub menus that it shows in the car vehicle dimensions. Uh, you've obviously got loads of different media options to play music from your phone 
as well as uh, USB. Uh, voice control Alexa built in to, to the car now. You can play music, get directions, place calls just by asking. Uh, you do need to get, sign up to your Land Rover in control account. And when you have that account set up on your phone, you can actually see where the car is. You can open it, you can pre warm you can do all sorts with that, uh, with that app. Uh, you can see the weather. Um, I won't wait for it to load up. Oh, there you go, two degrees, lovely and cold. Um, but yeah, there's just so many different things you can play about with on this car. It really is fabulous. Uh, put it reversed, you know, automatic goes to those cameras that I showed you earlier, which again, you can adjust, put it into park. You can adjust your suspension from here. So if you want to raise it now, it'll start raising. You can hear that normal height selected. There's just so many different things you can do. It's fabulous, great everyday car. Literally covers everything you could want to do. And that, ladies and gents, is our Defender 110 XS Edition Urban Y Track. If you're interested in this particular car, and do give us a call, we'll happily offer various uh, finance packages for you. And we can also do um, paint protection film, we can do ceramic coatings, we can put trackers on them as well. We've got all that stuff covered. It's a fabulous, fabulous car. Don't miss out. Give us a call. We'll reserve it for you with a small deposit whilst we get everything else sorted. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next video. Good night.